Okay, a little bit of a different setting uh, due to logistic reasons, but the mission remains the same. 100 press ups uh, in, the, in the one day for the Cancer Research Challenge, and it's just two days to go now. So let's, let's, let's get started. Okay, so 40 done, I think with two days to go, I just want to think about some uh, reflections and thoughts on having done this for, uh, for 28 days. And I think the first thing just to go back to is the reason for doing it and that was to support Cancer Research UK. and. I know that the amount raised from me doing this is, is relatively trivial. I, I had a, I went to a talk by someone from Cancer Research UK last week and they said that they fund 500 million pounds worth of research for cancer. Or like maybe they raised 500 million and I guess that contributes towards research, which is just a, a unbelievable number. And so, yeah, the total sum is 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 trivial, but I think it's it is a sort of commitment to continuous con contribution and trying to do something to to help. It it makes makes you feel good, and I think it's part of sort of living the world and trying to improve the world we live in and contribute in a meaningful way and I have no sort of specific guidelines on how I pick and choose what charitable things I support or do um, but it's something I, I I'm trying to be more mindful about in the sense making it a higher priority to help support um, and, and I guess one of those ways is also raise money for charity but you know charity comes in all different forms and I'm conscious that I, I and, and you know I, I'm not I think at this stage of my life I can contribute financially which is, is my, my own contributions alongside things like this fundraising but also direct non-financial contributions to causes and charitable causes and partly that's thinking about how to contribute with my medical skill set but also volunteering that's definitely something that I want to try and build on going going forwards and um, I guess by saying it on here hopefully that'll help me stay accountable because I I guess I used to do some when I was younger, but it's definitely something that I, I don't actively do, sort of volunteering uh, at the moment. And it is something that I would like to build in to my schedule. And I think that idea of schedule and trying to make it something more mindful is definitely, I think, something I'm going to focus on, which is rather than doing one-off things like this, which is you raise money, do a challenge and then forget about it, it's how can you incorporate it into your regular practice? So some sort of giving, some sort of 
support is a regular thing that either you do you know on a weekly basis or daily in, in smaller amounts and I think trying to create a sort of sustainable way to integrate uh, good work uh, and kindness and things into life is, is, a, is a, a big positive from, from my own limited experience but also from what I've read is the more you can do for others the more that you feel good the more that that rewards you and the more goodwill if you put out into the world will, will come back to you so I, I definitely think it's a it's a feeling to try and build on and, and have more consistently in life Okay, so that's the reason, and I guess the next thing is the action itself, and that's these press ups. Actually, doing doing this for uh, I guess now the twenty ninth day, it's really in some ways put me off the actual move itself, the press up itself. I think it's not helped me grow or strengthen in a shape or way that I want to. I definitely think I'm asymmetrically overtraining one muscle in my body. And maybe sort of day five, day 10, that was great. Uh, but at day 29, I'm definitely feeling off center. And I think after day 30, the press up move, I'm, I'm gonna take a break from because I just don't think it's a good one for physicalness. And I, I'm not gonna get a twinge, but I definitely feel a little bit of a sensation that's not necessarily a positive one in my left shoulder. Uh, not during the press ups, but through the day. So maybe that's my own fault for not recovering properly, not really giving the warm down and things time. I know I've spoken about that before, but. Um, the physical move of the press up, I don't fancy, I, I think I've done too much of it. Uh, but, 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 I, I don't want to mix that up with the positives and the positives, really positive effect that consistency has had on my health, mindset, life, and it's just another. It's, it's been another example where I've really enjoyed and felt satisfied from doing something small consistently every day, building a habit. It's been a lot of fun to look forward to it and definitely, definitely enjoyed that, that aspect of this challenge. I think that's definitely something which tomorrow maybe I'll think about how to retain and what to do about these recording components, but with regards to the press up move itself, take a break from that and try and rebalance physically everything. I mean, I've been going to the gym throughout the month, but the sort of consistency of work doing press ups, nothing else, I've not done anything else with that degree of consistency, and I don't think it's necessarily a healthy quantity of that move to do so that's going to come down anyway so I guess to reflect on really really happy that I've been able to do something for a really good cause makes you feel good 
makes you feel part of something bigger. And yeah, just really enjoyed that aspect of it. Knowing that I'm doing something for that reason has just been, it's been great to have an additional driver to do good things. The habit of exercise and regular consistent exercise, loved it. Press up move, not so much. So I guess tomorrow on the final recording, we'll have a think about how to retain the good components. Yeah, maybe retain both the good components of the consistency and the charity and maybe lose the press ups. So here we go. Final 25 of the penultimate day. Great, that's all done. See you tomorrow.